so this is going to be the end of P6. Um, let's just do every other one here. Let's for you for the rest of this. We've done enough. Let's do 29, 33, 37, and 41. And maybe I'll just walk through these with you. Uh, and so you can have a, a check so that you don't have to develop these answers yourself if you're have, still struggling with this. If you're not struggling, try to plow ahead and see how far you can get. They get there's some tricks in here that you might not come up with. So let's start with 29. I'm just going to do your homework. Pause the video and try 29 yourself. If you're not feeling good about it, I'll set it up for you. I'm going to do the long division of x plus 5 and do x squared plus 6x plus 5. I think this is a remainder of 0. Oh, if it's written as a fraction, I can still take it and write it as a long division. What's to the um, left of the division bar goes under the division sign, and what's to the right of the division bar goes to the left of the division sign. We kind of did this at the beginning of this lecture, uh, part 1. And so I can transform a division problem in, uh, with a division sign into a um, long division problem. It's what's written first goes under the division bar. What's written second goes outside the division bar. Um, so now top, I'm going to do x squared over x. Cancel an x, and that just gives me an x. Underneath. The x that I just put on top gets multiplied by the x plus 5 that's outside. I multiply x times x and x times 5. x times x is x squared. x times 5 is positive 5x. Before I put it under the division bar, I'm going to set up the subtraction. So I'm going to find the opposite. The opposite of positive x squared is negative x squared. The opposite of positive 5x is negative 5x. Underneath my division bar, I'm going to get a negative x squared and a negative 5x. x squareds cancel. 6x minus 5x is 1x. I really don't need the 1 there, but maybe it's nice. Bring down the 5. And now I'll work with this and this to figure out what goes on top. I'm going to take the 1x. Divide it by the x. The x is cancel. I get a positive 1 to put on top my division bar. Now I'll take the 1 that's on top my division bar. Multiply it by the x plus 5 that's out in front of my division bar. I'm going to do 1 times x and 1 times 5. 1 times x is 1x. 1 times 5 is positive 5. I need to subtract this, so I'm going to find the opposite. The opposite of positive 1x is negative 1x. The opposite of positive 5 is negative 5. Underneath my division bar, I get negative 1x minus 5. Both cancel, so I get a remainder of 0. My answer is x plus 1. And if when I'm dividing, I get a remainder of 0, checking is easy. So I'll do the checking. I'll take my answer, multiply it by the x plus 5, and it should equal the x squared plus 6x plus 5. In terms of my checking, I'm going to multiply x times x, x times 5, 1 times x, and 1 times 5. The x times x is x squared. The x times 5 is 5x. The 1 times x is 1x. The 1 times 5 is 5. I'll combine the middle terms, adding 5x and 1x and getting 6x. And I'll look at this result compared to the original problem. I've got the perfect match, so I know my answer is right. So that's 29. Three more problems, and we'll call it quits. I still think they'll take a chunk of time because they're bigger. So um, we'll work on 33 next. I'm going to write 33 in its long division form. It's going to have an extra step because the left side here is bigger. So for 33, I'm going to take the 2x minus 3, put it in front of division bar, and the 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 11x 
minus 3 and put it under. This is going to be a three-step problem because there's four terms here as opposed to 3. On top my division bar, this 2x cubed divided by that 2x. The 2's cancel. For the x's, I subtract the exponents and get an x squared. I'm going to line it up under the x squared term. Underneath my division bar, I'm going to take the x squared, multiply it by 2x minus 3. I'm going to do x squared times 2x and x squared times minus 3. The first multiplication, I add the exponents on the x's and get a 2x cubed. The second multiplication, I just write the, three, the minus 3 and the x squared next to each other, so you get a minus 3x squared. I need to subtract, so I'll find the opposite of this. The opposite of 2x cubed is negative 2x cubed. The opposite of negative 3x squared is positive 3x squared. That's what's going to go under my division bar, so a minus 2x cubed and a plus 3x squared. And then the minus 9 plus 3 that I'm going to deal with in a second is going to be a minus 6. So 2x cubes cancel. These give me a minus 6x squared. I'm going to bring down both the 11x and the minus 3 just so I don't forget the minus 3, but I won't need the minus 3 on this second step. There's three steps to this one. So next step, next top. My next top I'm going to take the minus 6x squared that's furthest left outside the division bar, divide it by that same 2x. Negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. For the x's, I subtract the exponent of 2 and 1 and get minus 3x. I'm going to put that minus 3x, line it right up over the x term. Now I'll figure out what goes under by multiplying the minus 3x times the 2x minus 3. I'll do minus 3x times 2x and minus 3x times minus 3. Minus 3x times 2x is minus 6x squared. Minus 3x times minus 3 is plus 9x. I need to subtract this, so I'll find the opposite. The opposite of negative 6x squared is positive 6x squared. The opposite of positive 9x is negative 9x. So I'm going to run down and write my positive 6x squared, negative 9x. 6x squareds cancel. 11x minus 9x is 2. I bring down my negative 3. One more step. I'll take the on top of 2x. I'm running out of room here. To figure out what goes on top, I take this 2x, divide it by that 2x. So the 2x under the division bar by the 2x outside the division bar. And that's something divided by itself, so it's equal to 1. I'll put a positive 1 on top of my division bar. Under my division bar, I'm going to take the 1 that I just put on top, multiply it by this, I can barely read anymore, that 2x minus 3. I'll do 1 times 2x, which is 2x. 1 times minus 3, which is minus 3. I need to subtract when I put under the division bar. So I'm going to find the opposite. The opposite of positive 2x is negative 2x. The opposite of negative 3 is positive 3. So I get a negative 2x plus 3. 2x is cancel, 3's cancel. I get a 0 remainder. So my answer for problem 33 should be x squared minus 3x plus 1, remainder of 0. That means it's checkable. I can take two, do two multiplications. Multiply what's outside the division bar by my answer in either order, and it should equal what's under the division bar. Since I have a remainder of 0, I'm going to check, and I'm going to check the way that's easier for me. Take the smaller binomial, multiply it by the answer. I could flip-flop these and have the x squared minus 3x plus 1 first, but I chose not to. Bad multiplication here. To do this multiplication, I'm going to go 2x times x squared, 2x times minus 3x, 2x times 1. 
and then minus 3 times x squared, minus 3 times minus 3x, and then minus 3 times 1. First multiplication, add the exponents of the x's and get a 2x cubed. Second multiplication, 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. x times x is x squared. Third multiplication, 2x times 1 is positive 2x. Fourth multiplication, negative 3 times x squared is negative 3x squared. Fifth multiplication, negative 3 times negative 3x is positive 9x. Last multiplication, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3. Now I need to combine negative 6x squared minus 3x squared and positive 2x plus 9x. I'm going to bring down the 2x cubed. These terms have the same signs in front of the x's, so I'll add the numbers and keep them negative and get a negative 9x squared. These also have the same signs, so I'll add them and keep them positive. And I'll bring down the minus 3, so I get 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus 11x minus 3. That equals perfectly what it needs to equal, so I feel good about that. Two more problems to, to push through, and they're the trickiest of the problems that we do because we're gapping and missing. When I look at problem 37, it's a binomial divided by a binomial, but I have to think of this problem not as a binomial divided by a binomial. I need to think of it as a polynomial divided by a binomial. The new, the first term or the um, dividend is missing an x to the first power term and an x to the second power term. I have to put those in with placeholders. If I don't expand this to have every power of x from the third power term to the constant term, my division's probably going to mess up. So that's the next few problems, 37 through 44. They're all missing um, terms that I have to add. So the long division form of 37 is going to be x minus 2 divided into x cubed. And I like physically writing this, the placeholder for 0x squared for 0x and minus 2. It's going to be a four-step problem again. The first bit of on topness I'm going to do x cubed over x, and that's going to give me an x squared. I'm going to line it up under the 0x squared. And then for under, I'm going to take x squared and multiply it by x minus 2. I'll do x squared times x and x squared times minus 2. First multiplication gives me x cubed. Second multiplication gives me minus 2x squared. I need to subtract, so I'll find the opposite. The opposite of x cubed is negative x cubed. The opposite of negative 2x squared is positive 2x squared. Write that under my division bar. Negative x cubed, which is going to make the x cubes cancel. 2x squared, 0x squared plus 2x squared is just 0 plus 2, which is 2x squared. So these cancel. Here I add the 0 and the 2 and get 2x squared. Bring down the 0x bring down the minus 2. Next business, I need to do the top again. So I take what's furthest left outside my division bar, under my division bar, which is 2x squared, divided by that x that I've been working with already. I cancel one of the x's, and I'm left with a 2x. I get a positive 2x on top of my division bar. Underneath the division bar, I take the 2x that I just put on top of the division bar. I multiply it by the x minus 2 that's under the division bar. I do 2x times x. I do 2x times minus 2. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times minus 2 is minus 4x. I need to subtract, so I'll find the opposite. The opposite of positive 2x squared is negative 2x squared. The opposite of negative 4x is positive 4x. So underneath my division bar, I get a negative 2x squared plus 4x. 
the 2x squared's terms cancels. 0x plus 4x is 4x. I bring down my minus 2. Last step to figure out what goes on top. I take the 4x that's newest outside under the division bar, divide it by that same x. So last step for my top, take the 4x under the division bar, divide it by the x outside the division bar. The x is canceled, I'm left with a positive 4. Underneath my division bar, I take the 4 that I just put on top, I multiply it by the x minus 2, I go 4 times x, which is 4x, 4 times minus 2 is minus 8. Before I put it under the division bar, I need to subtract it, so I'll find its opposite, which will be negative 4x and plus 8. So underneath my division bar, I get negative 4x plus 8. 4x's cancel. Those have opposite signs, so negative 2 plus 8 is going to give me positive 6. That's going to be my remainder. Since I have a remainder, I don't need to check. My answer for 37 is going to be x squared plus 2x, you can't see it, but I can, plus 4, remainder of 6. There is a way to check if you have a remainder. It's just kind of clunky, so I usually don't. So one more, and we'll call it an end. And you can try to do 41 without me. That would be nice. Pause the video and check. I don't put these last few problems on the test. That's kind of why I'm doing them with you um, because I know they're more confusing. So in 42, I need to think of this as 5x squared plus 0x plus 4 divided by x minus 3. I need a placeholder for every power of x. And if I'm missing a placeholder, I need to add it in. So in problem 41, I can think of this as x minus 3 divided into 5x squared plus 0x plus 4 to figure out what goes on top. Divide, divide, 5x squared over x. I'm just going to cancel one of the x's and keep the 5 and get a 5x. Line it up under the 0x or over the 0x. And then under the 5x that I just put on top, needs to be multiplied by the x minus 3. I'm going to do 5x times x, which is 5x squared. 5x times minus 3, which is minus 15x. I need to subtract, so I'll find the opposite of this. The opposite of positive 5x squared is negative 5x squared. The opposite of negative 15x is positive 15x. Underneath my division bar, I get a negative 5x squared and a plus 15x. The 5x squareds cancel. 0x plus 15x is 15x. Bring down my plus 4. Last on top, I'll take this 15x, divide it by that x. The x's will cancel. I'll be left with a positive 15 that I'll write after the 5x. To figure out what goes underneath the 15 that I just put on top, I'll multiply by the x minus 3 that I can't barely see the minus, but I can see it there and there. I'll go 15 times x, which is 15x. 15 times minus 3, which is minus 45. I need to subtract this, so I'll find its opposite, which is negative 15x plus 45. That will go underneath my division bar, a negative 15x plus 45. 15x's cancel. The 4 and the 45 add up to give me my remainder. 4 plus 45 is 49. So this is going to have a remainder of 49. That would be a perfect answer. The alternative would be to say it's 5x plus 15 plus 49 over x minus 3. Ugh, I'm so glad to be done with this. Hopefully you understood it okay. Um, it's one of the lectures I really don't like to do because it's such an intense long lecture. So that's the end of this section. It's the end of all the material for the chapter. Anything after this is just going to be preparing for our test.